Hey guys, I'm Clint Flair Wu. Welcome back to another Division 2 build video, and today I'm bringing you my rifle build for PvE with 90% damage to elites, 38% crit hit damage, and around about 61% weapon damage of all time. This is a cracking build for PvE, challenging content and above. Don't get me wrong, against red bars, veteran enemies, you will do decent damage. Come against elite enemies, you will absolutely wreck. Let's do this. Hey guys, this is my boomerang build for PvE. I'm rolling with a demolitionist specialization, and I'm rolling with that because it will give me 25% explosive damage, and I'll pair that with the merciless, which is, yes, you guessed it, 20% explosive damage. That's 45% explosive damage on this build. That is nice. It is really, really nice. I'm rolling with 12 offensive stats, 5 Defensive stats and zero utility. My armor is 217k. Health is 51, 209, and zero skill power. This is not a skill power build. This is all about dealing damage, uh, really good damage with the damage to elites, which is really strong, and a good amount of crit on this build as well. The build, okay. Richter and Kaiser mask, which is 10% hazard protection, 40% damage to elites. That's a really nice number to have. 5987 health and hard hitting, which is 10% damage to elites. 50% on the mask is a good start to this build. The chest piece is a province defense brand set. Ideally, I would like anything but on this build. However, this is really awesome for the attributes that I want and the talents. I've got critic damage, critic chance, and weapon damage. That's what I want on the build. And I did have about 4 or 5% weapon damage. I've modified this to get 10%, which is cool. Hard hitting as a talent. I, again, it's all about dealing cracking damage on yellow bar enemies. My armor, explosive resistance, and total armor. Weapon damage, assault rifle damage, and rifle damage. Wyvern Warehouser with critted damage of 7%, 11.5% critted chance. Ideally, go for at 14 or 15 if you can do some re rolling, which would be good. Hard hitting, which is 10% damage to elites. An offensive mod of weapon damage, rifle damage, and LMG damage. Knee pads is the Overlord Armaments, which is 10% rifle damage, 6% critted chance, 10% damage to elites through hard hitting. Weapon damage, rifle damage, and marksman rifle damage. What you need on this build is two of these to make it absolutely perfect. And that will also give you this build raid ready. Because you need... Extra armor 217k armor in the raid is not enough. You would want about 250k with this build. So go for 10 offensive, 7 defensive stats, and you're laughing for the raid. Uh, however, I'm using this in challenging and heroic missions, so this will give me a huge damage increase. Um, try and go for two piece overload armaments if you can get the chest piece, that'll be perfect. And uh, given the right rolls, you are laughing. The gloves is 511 tactical, which gives me protection from elites and extra income and healing. Uh, SMG damage, rifle damage of 5%. I have not seen a higher rifle damage piece. This is my RNG personified. If I can get 10%, I'll be chuffed. The max is 12%. If you can get that, you're laughing on this build. Uh, but still, it, it fares very, very well. Talent devastated is, again, essential to the build. 5% weapon damage is key obliterate would also be a good talent to have if you can't get devastating um but rifle damage is something that you do need on the gloves backpack is five level tactical again weapon damage health armor hard hitting and hazard protection the defensive mod is armor armor and kill total armor go for the skills these are just there for show these give me a little bit of healing, uh, which is my reinforcer chem launch. As you can see, nothing is active. Basic armor repair of 50k, uh, free ammo. And the fixer drone is 180 cooldown, 126 health, 12.6 free free healing. Again, that's just generic. 
I have nothing which is good enough. I always go for high power mods um, on my build because I run skill builds all the time. So this is a different for me to roll with this. Um, if I had the right mods, it'd be strong, really strong, but I don't, unfortunately. I'm sure you guys have, but I don't keep them. Weapons, my primary weapon is the M1A Q CQB, 49.6k uh, base damage. The Talent Boomerang, critical hits have a 50% chance to return the bullet to the magazine. If a bullet is returned to the magazine, the next shot has plus 20% increased damage. That's good. That is really, really good. Great talent, underused, and is perfect for rifle builds. So if you want to build this or mimic this in any way, my advice would be build for crit. The more crit you build, the more chance you have of dealing more damage. So that, that's just a good option, in my opinion. I just think it's a go-to. Jazz hands, double duty. And the mods, critical range, because I do want to crit more often. And this is... A build from afar. This is not a run and gun kind of build. This is sit back, deal damage, and this does it perfectly for me. So 20% critical hit range, uh, optimal range of 20%, critic chance on the under barrel, and 5% critic damage on the muzzle. And the merciless, one or one with the merciless, not talent A or B, but C, brutality, while well holstered. Landing a shot has a 5% chance to deal plus 20% damage as explosive damage. Now you could roll with Overlap or Everlasting or a decent holster talent, but this is perfect for me because, again, I'm rolling with the Demolitionist. Demolitionist, you get baked in 25% explosive damage. So once you have the Merciless, that could be 45% if you proc it that five percent chance it is really good it does work more often than you think uh, and when you get an explosion it absolutely wrecks so this is a good good holster talent and that's why i'm rolling with the merciless and my custom pf45 ranger extra and double duty while holstered reloading from empty gives you a 20 percent of your magazine back as free ammo and can occur once every 30 seconds then the mods and now we go for the stats, the nitty gritty of the build. As you can see, it's littered with hard hitting and damage. There are the weapon talents. Let's take a look at the stats in all their glory. So, 49, 569 base damage, 38% critic chance. This could be higher, guys. It really could. Um, I could get to about 43, 44 quite easily through re rolling. Critic damage, 55%. Nice. Headshot damage, 60%. It's a little bit low, in all fairness. I would like a little bit more. However, it is what it is. Range of 72 meters. 2.7 seconds reload time. 10% reload speed. And now the offensive stats. 23.5% all weapon damage bonus. 38% rifle damage bonus. That gives me 61.5% all weapons damage bonus, which is really good. Could be higher yet again through re-rolling. And if you get a better piece on the backpack, I think you're only got 4% weapon damage. You can get up to 12, 13% quite easily. Just make sure you get the right pieces. 90% um, damage to elites. It wrecks yellow bar. Again, this is situational. If you are rolling in challenging content, heroic content, you will primarily aim for yellow bar enemies because you will absolutely annihilate them. With this build, you'll wreck them. It's really good to have on the build for again challenging heroic bounties and even raid, raid ready. You know, defense we've seen the defense 217 armor, 51 health, 20% hazard resistance, 40% burn resistance. That's due to demolitionist, and that does help immensely in PvE. I mean, how many, uh, any bombs that go off, you know, in the um, in the black tusk as well for their assets. It does help to have that burn resistance. And as you can see, my skill power is diddly squat. So I, it gives nothing for me. No cooldown reduction, nothing. Simply because I've opted for DPS. And that is the build, guys. I've had so much fun rolling with this. Two offensive, five defensive, zero utility. Hard hitting pretty much everywhere. And you deal a lot of damage on this build. Guys, Hope you enjoyed the video. 
If you have, drop a like and see more Division 2 content, then please smash the sub button, and I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy, guys.